Okay, so welcome back to the whole garden. Uh, I know I said I was going to do a garden tour today. Didn't get the homestead cleaned up. Still got some empty containers around here that have to be taken care of. Sorry, my neighbors with the noise over there kind of distracting. But instead, today I'm going to show you how to trellis tomatoes. This is our tomato bed here. As you can see, some of my clean plate over here. Uh, some more other call. We're going to show you an easy method. All you need, I have a piece of bamboo, a zip tie, some twine, and then I bought this bag of plant clips. These little, little things here. It was like $12 or $15 for 300 of them. Uh, yeah, of them. And uh, of course, a pair of scissors, knife, whatever. And let me throw this one up really quick. I'll show you what I do. Um, start with taking a piece of twine, any size you want. I use this small cup because it can handle up to about 15 pounds. The tomato line's not going to be that heavy. To make a loop, tie it off. So you have this, so you can put it over the uh, rope, over the rope up here. I did the clothesline method of building the structural uh, tomato bed uh, this year. It's uh, fairly straight, it can handle a lot of weight. It's two by two, two by four, and uh, Aaron and I put it together. So I'm going to first measure out how much I need. All I do is Roll the twine and go up. This tie has been broken. Grab my twine. I can use my grass shears here to cut with. Just a little extra. Pick it off. Put it in through the loop and get it back. And put this over your bamboo and slide it down tight. And very nice and tall. Plant clips. I'm going to grab a couple here so I can do this. You gotta work. If you look in these clothes, there's a little V right there, so that's where your twine goes. And then they close in, they make a circle. We're gonna hold the tomato plant up, gives it room to move, sway with the wind, and you can release it. So, reusable. There you go. I'll pick up more. Again. 
me bring you in and give you a closer look here. So, I'm gonna put you right down in here. So if you look right here, you see how the clip holds, holds the twine, and you're secured. And it's got room to sway with the wind. Um, it does need to be pruned a little bit here. And uh, since it has to, let's talk about that. So right down in here, you see down in the screw, these are called suckers. And they actually form another plant. A lot of people will let them go. Me, I prune them up. I prune up the bottom nine inches of my plants. You can just take, push on them, and they'll snap, rock it back and forth, pull it, let it go. Um, and allows you to single stem. This method is only good with sing single stemming, doesn't work for bush. Um, get down in here, pull some extras off. Bigger ones. Get the snips in for. And take those ones off. And the reason I pull that far up is because uh, I take off the bottom 9 to 12 inches at the bottom of my tomatoes because if you do, when it rains, sorry, when it rains and water splashes up, it's going to put fungus and dirt on your tomato plants. And that causes blight, kill your tomatoes your plant, everything else. So I always take the bottom 9 to 12 inches off. Um, and as you can see, I got most of my tomatoes trellised up here. Got a few more left to go. Plan on getting those done today. Um, see, we got a lot of flowers here. And one tip I want to give you is how to pollinate your tomatoes. It's really crazy, stupid, simple. You're not going to believe how easy it is. Let me show you here. So, over here, got some flowers here. So, you can do one of two things. You can either take a little paintbrush, a very tiny paintbrush, and pollinate those. Or, here's the easiest thing. You ready? shake them. Tomatoes are self-pollinators. They don't, they don't need bees or, or anything to come in. They don't have to go from flower to flower to pollinate. So you shake down your tomatoes. They're going to pollinate themselves. You're going to have a huge crop of tomatoes. Either the wind can do it or you can do it. Um, with a structure like this, if you watch, I can shake the structure and shake all the tomatoes. See that? Um, Self-pollinating. Really easy to do. So there's your, your tip on tomatoes and trellising them, pollinating them. Um, there's 40 in a 40 square foot bed because you can do one per square foot when you single stem. I single stem. So in this 4x10 bed I put 40 tomatoes. Should yield us at least 20 gallons of tomatoes this year. Last year we got 9 gallons off 15 plants. Those were bush, not single stem, because they were determinants. These are all indeterminants. Cherry tomatoes, cocktail tomatoes. Uh, you name it. We got a little bit of everything in here. So we, uh, we've got to go finish trellising up this bed, finish pruning.
So there's a little 10 minute video for you on how to trellis and pollinate your tomatoes, single stem them, lots of production. If you haven't done this yet, it's a good thing to try. If not, keep it in the back of your mind for next year. Have a good day.